with any progressive neurological illness and neurological disease process like Alzheimer's dementia, which is one of the most common that we would see in clinic, um, the most salient disturbance is memory. And the reason why people come in is because that is such a huge concern for them and their family members is, you know, mom is starting to slip up or dad is having a harder time completing some tasks. He's leaving things uh, lying around the house. And we recently found him maybe wandering uh, and he seemed a little lost and confused. Now, it's not central to the temporal lobe or the frontal lobe or any lobe specifically, but when you look at imaging, and this is where imaging becomes very, very helpful in terms of diagnosing Alzheimer's disease, um, or at least in terms of uh, being a very important piece of that diagnosis, you see a lot of cortical um, degeneration. Now, our brain is generally eight pounds, give or more or less, and what you see on imaging is what would be in layman's terms of shrinking, this degeneration. And when you see this uh, degenerative process happening, people tend to think perhaps maybe this is progressive. And neuropsych testing is very helpful for that because we take a patient at that point in time and we perform a series of tasks to determine you know, what level of functionality they're at, how their memory is doing, et cetera. And then over time, that may be six months, one year, two years, five years, we can reassess that patient with serial imaging as well to see if their memory uh, declines in tandem with neuroimaging that shows more and more degeneration over time.